Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's On The Fresh video today. We are doing some treasure hunting here at Antiques Iowa. This is a antique store, thrifty store, treasure hunting store here in Story City. I've definitely found some treasures here before, so let's go see what we can find. So you guys know I'm going to show less of myself and more of uh, what we're looking at so you can enjoy the experience I'm sorry well you're here so <laughs> if you walk in front of the camera or you're in the shot well then tiny will be included <laughs> this Taz racing hat's really cool I'm sure it's overpriced because I know this booth is overpriced yeah 15 bucks These were huge back when I was a kid. These are definitely from the 90s, 19 bucks. Like they clearly know what they have and they're priced as such. I remember I was here back in September and they had some old WCW NWL items and I wanted them, but I wasn't gonna pay the full price that they were charging. So I opted out. But yeah, I mean, they got some old 90s stuff here. M&M's collectibles are a really big thing. Not, It's not something I enjoy necessarily, but um, Man, it's definitely collectible. We got some Toy Story stuff. Toy Story 2. And then also, there's this Buzz Lightyear here too. He's a window cling, I think. Oh, no, he's not. There's an old uh, Micro Machine carrying case up there. This old Mickey Mouse toy. Wheaties box. So this is one of my favorite booths here. They have a ton of like old Happy Meals. And stuff from the 90s like this moon face guy is a uh, an 80s and 90s mcdonald's mascot if you will it's a good time for the great taste dinner at mcdonald's it is mac tonight come on make it mac tonight got the kool-aid man Here, you got even more. Like we got a Space Jam fig. Looks more like Charles Barkley than Michael Jordan. Priced at three bucks. He's vintage, but is this, is this Barney? Sure looks like a Barney. Oh, wow. Not what I was expecting at all. Aladdin. Happy Meal. Like you look through there, and there's a picture. This here, this is an old Burger King Kids Club Happy Meal. He glows in the dark. They had a whole line of those that actually glow in the dark. Ooh, we got an old Nickelodeon thing. I like old Nickelodeon stuff. It's gonna be a voice changer or a voice amplifier. For a buck, that might come home with me. We'll see. Barbie. Hear a little sound of rooting around? Guess who it is? Garfield's <laughs> toy. Oh my gosh, it's Garfield. He tried to kick food into his mouth. Garfo vision. I'm weak with hunger. I haven't eaten for almost 27 <coughs> minutes. I don't think it fully works. Does it say where it's from on the back? If it's like a Burger King thing or? China. Just 100% pure Garfield. Yep. Hmm. Never seen that before. 
Yeah, Garfo Vision. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, this is really cute. This is from the Fievel series. This is Fievel's sister, Tanya. Look, Mama, an actor and a singer. Tanya, stop that. You shouldn't stare at people less fortunate than yourself. It's been a while since I've seen those films, but she's in really good condition. For six bucks though, no thanks. Rex, Cat Stimpy, or excuse me, Ren from Ren and Stimpy. He's pretty cool. An old snow globe from Disney. That's that's pretty, pretty recent, 2012. These are from McDonald's or like little puppet things. I don't know what year though, 50 cents. Seth and I had a few of these and they just break and you lose all the pieces. This is Fraggle Rock, Happy Meal Toy. These here were big, the dinosaur show. Not the mama, not the mama. Not the mama, not the mama. You do that one more time and I'm gonna throw you across the room. Not the mama. Hold ah! Aladdin. Original cootie. What you got there, kids? Cooties, Grandpa. Porky Pig. So this is the second one of those that I found. There's another one in here. But I'm not really familiar with what they are. Here it is. Yeah, I, I recognize these. But I'm not exactly sure what they're from. If you know, let me know. Same Aladdin one. There's Potato Head from 98, Burger King. <laughs> A little, <laughs> I remember these. Pumba Finger Puppet from Burger King Kids Club. That's really cool. 75 cents. Kids' fingers get into everything, so get them into Burger King. Where the characters from the Lion King home video are at their fingertips with six new finger puppets. One inside every $1.99 Kids Club hamburger meal. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm guessing... Yeah, you put something in there and maybe it makes a noise or something. X-Men. Is this Gargoyles? No, this was, uh, yeah, Gargoyles cartoon. Another finger puppet. Blue from Tailspin. Lion King, Jungle Cruise, Disneyland 40th, that's really cool. I have no idea what that is. I need one of these. It's a little rough. 75 cents. It's a possibility. So many random things were made. Oh, that's really cool. Old Spider-Man. Oh, wow. We had this. Holy crap. Seth, you remember this. Wow, that's really cool. These were planes that turned into creatures. Also Burger King Gets Club, Land Before Time. Looks like Goof Troop, maybe, or Goofy Movie. I do have the rest of them, so I'm gonna have to get that guy. And Animaniacs. Pretty cool little Ben. Tiny just found this old McDonald's book. I've never, literally never seen a McDonald's book. No, never. Wow. Oh, let's The illustrations that. are so cool. 1965. 65, wow. So, was that when McDonald's was I have no idea when they started. Because this looks like the original McDonald's in Illinois. What's it say on the back? Anything? 
I'm just saying, what about that cover? First McDonald's carry at restaurant. It was built was 10 years ago, so 1955 okay. when it started. Yeah. Wow. That's super cool. This, if it was like a buck, I'd probably get it. The story of eating out at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> How good does that food look? Wow. It, yeah, it looks a little bit different now. <laughs> of course, we got the classic golden books. Oh, Tiny Toons? <gasps> Mercy. All right, we got Tiny Toons. Happy birthday, Babs. That's cute. So it was 99 cents at Target. What are they asking for? They're asking 250. Nope. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Price, no price on the back. Doesn't say. Interesting. Hmm, I'm gonna need to figure out how much that is because that's that's really, really cool. What else we got in here? Classic. Classic. What's the price on that? That one's three. Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, we got a E.T. storybook. That. That one's three bucks as well. Wow, it's the whole movie. Maybe we got some little knickknacks over here. You got a little Nickelodeon thing. A little calculator. 50 cents. Probably doesn't work. Nope, she's dead. That's cool looking though. Got some old Sesame Street figurines. Those are fun. I really like the Ernie. Two bucks. And they got Grover, Big Bird, Cookie Monster, Ernie, couple Ernies. There's Grover. Vintage nativity set. And we got the classic outdoor set too, which is really cool. Ooh, power nice. 95. Looks like it's never been opened. Nope, it's brand spanking new. Never been opened. Six or three bucks? It's here, a force so phenomenal, you'd think it was right out of a movie. It is. Now at McDonald's, you can buy your own action figure and ninja sword. Six sets and all, they're here to save the world. Sir? Uh, yes? You gonna eat all those fries? That's pretty awesome. Alright, look at, Tiny just found Totino's Microwave Crisp Crust Pizza Post-it note holder. <laughs> Like that is so random. Like Totino's pizzas are the cheapest, like low quality pizzas you can get. Now get, don't get me wrong, they're delicious. But to make a post-it note holder, like it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't really align with the brand. No, it does not. Oh my goodness, I totally remember. Play money was so sought after when we were kids. Buck 25, that's really cheap just to have money you could actually play with and act like. I mean, these actually comes with credit cards too and little quarters. Yeah, that takes me back. This is a lot newer than it would have been for my childhood, but that's still really, really cool. And good price too. This is why you gotta look between all the things, everybody. I'm a huge WCW fan. It's never been opened, it's a hundred piece. Six bucks, a little too much for me. Sting and Goldberg, two of the hottest wrestling commodities back in the 90s. That is, it's really cool. So this would have been probably from 99, I'm guessing. Didn't say, wait there. 
Yep, 99. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Ooh, we got a NWO car. Brian Adams. That's really cool too. I'm sure the price is high. Yep, 15 bucks for that? I don't think so. You'll appreciate this, Tiny. An unopened WCW original puzzle. Wow. Stinging Goldberg. That's so cool. Yeah. Never been opened. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is cool too. Old Cartoon Network race car. Oh, I love that. And we got, we got, oh, it's just the Flintstones. Yeah, that's really cool. 96 Monte Carlo. That's really cool. Back in Cartoon Network was really cool. And then all the other cars. Oh, the amazing, wow, that's old. The amazing Spider Van. For 1222. No, I think I'm okay. That's really cool though. I love this expression. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> Classic angry Laura Croft. <laughs> wow, these are really cool. What do we got? We got Tomb Raider 3. Eight bucks. Okay. Wow. It's gonna have some old school advertisements in there. Wow, yeah. PlayStation, Ninja, Shadow of Dark End. This is literally how you found out how to play the game. Splinter Cell, significantly newer. Laura Croft, Angel of Darkness, significantly newer. This is different too. This is the same game, but it's completely different. Look, feels a little bit better quality too, but oh, look at this. Nice find. Wow. That's cool. I remember that it was one of the first times Laura Croft actually had like a partner yeah. in the game. Yeah, that's really cool. And the old Minnie and Mickey Mouse picture up there. Looks like it's from the 80s or early 90s. Uh, look at this. This is too cool. Oh, and it has stuff included. Is there a place I can set this up higher? Okay, so just get a look at this. We got restrooms on the side. We got the front of the McDonald's. We got this side. Cool. On that side, we got the tray returning. And then included with it, we got a little paid, oh, little worker, McDonald's sign you can connect, cars for people. And on the inside, you got the drinks, you got the register, you got Ronald McDonald. This thing is in really great condition too. It's 25 bucks. It's probably not a terrible price. And that flooring is so classic. It is. Yeah, that's. It does not seem like a bad price. It's though. not. It's not. It's play school. I'm guessing 80s. Maybe the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I had a place to display it, I'd, yeah. that'd be uh, definitely one to consider. That is really cool. Look at this. Really cool classic Disney stuff. Old clock. Down here you got old Mickey and Minnie Tunes radio. Portion stuff. Mickey Mouse and Disco. Mickey Mouse Radio. All the treasures. And then plank them. <laughs> okay, well, I got two bags of stuff here that I will showcase once we get home. But a big shout out again to Antiques Iowa here in Story City. It's a huge place filled with tons of decades and decades of things. Here's uh, another shot at the building as the sun sets. We're gonna head home and I'll showcase everything that we bought today. All right guys, we are back and I'm gonna showcase everything that we bought today. Um, I'm gonna go through three little cycles. I'm gonna first showcase what I bought for myself for my personal collection. And then I'm gonna showcase some things that I bought to flip for profit on my eBay. And then also at the end, I'm gonna showcase some things that I, I bought for my brother. He has no idea what these items are. I told him, you're gonna have to wait to watch the video to see what I bought you, but I'm really excited for him to see those. So first, let's jump into the three things that I bought personally for my collection. I'll start with this little guy here. This is a, an action figure from the Burger King Kids Club line from back in the early 90s. And at Christmas time, I showcased some of the gifts that I had received, and I, I received a vintage lot of Burger King Kids Club action figures. Well, he was represented in that lot, but not in this full size. So I found him today for 75 cents, and it was a must buy because I need to fill out that collection. Next, I collect these little McDonald's 
figures. They're kind of like transformers in a way, but they're designed to look like an item of the menu from McDonald's. And then you can open them up and they become different characters. So we can flip these out here, flip that out there, and then open those wings up there. And you have basically like a pterodactyl flying around and then you can put his head back, close this up, close that up. And you have your McDonald's hotcakes back in its package. So I got that 75 cents. And then last thing for me personally was this hand puppet from Pizza Hut. This is from Eureka's Castle. This is Batley. And I have the Magellan hand puppet and Magellan was my favorite and Batley was one that Seth always enjoyed. And so I saw this, he was $3. And so it was a must add to the old Eureka's Castle collection that I have. So next I wanna showcase the items that I got that I'm going to put on my eBay account to flip, hopefully for some profit. And this is just a word to the wise that if you're ever out and about and you see a loose Nintendo 64 game, look it up on eBay, go to the filter and scroll down until you see sold items. Flip that on and you'll see just what some of these items have sold for on eBay in the last 90 days. And you can get a good idea on what something's worth might be. So I did that with these next few items and found that I can make a, de a decent profit off of these. So this here is Rush 2 Extreme Racing USA for the Nintendo 64. This was included in a bundle of four different video games. It was this and then three other Nintendo DS games that I'll showcase after this all for 12 bucks. So each game was individually priced at $3. So there is the Nintendo 64 game. Next is the Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots game for Nintendo DS. This is complete in box, which means that it has the manual, the cartridge and the case with the art all included. That is being listed on eBay for some profit as well. We have Disney and Pixar Cars Mater National Championship for the Nintendo DS. This is also complete in box, as you can see. Got the manual, got the cartridge, and the case and artwork as well. And then, last but not least, we have Nintendo DS The Golden Compass film video game adaption. And this is also complete in box. As you can see, you got the manual, the cartridge, everything there. So I paid 12 bucks for those and I will hopefully be able to profit around 25, 35, maybe 40 bucks off of uh, selling all of those things on eBay. And then the last thing that I bought to flip is this vintage 1995 McDonald's. I don't know if this was a Happy Meal. I'm sure you could just purchase these on their own because it says collect all six. I can't imagine they released something this big as a specific hot or a Happy Meal, but you could probably purchase them on your own. It is complete in bag. It's never been opened. So it is coming up quickly on 30 years old. As you can see it has the Yellow Ranger there with the uh, the Bear Ninja Zord in there as well. These have never been played with. I will also list that on eBay for a nice little profit. So I was excited to find those things. And then last but not least, I'm gonna showcase the items that I bought for Seth that he has no idea what they are. So Seth, get ready, here, here they come. All right, so we got six postcards from the, Florid the Grand Floridian Hotel, which is part of the Disney World Resort and Hotel. Um, each postcard is a part of this book. So if I open it up, there are six full postcards on here. And you can see on the back, none of them have been written on. They're waiting to be um, torn at the perforated edges to be sent to family or whatever. None of them, except for the middle one, has been bent. And they are very nice, very minty. Another thing about this, the, the Grand Floridian is, is well known for being on a lot of TV shows and movies, and one in particular, if you're familiar with the old show starring Hulk Hogan, Thunder in Paradise, it included this entire resort as like the home location for Hulk Hogan's character. So if you've never heard of Thunder in Paradise and you're curious about that being part of the Disney resort world, just go ahead and do a quick little Google search or a YouTube search and I'm sure you'll be able to find something. So Seth, you got six minty grand Floridian postcards heading your way. Next in line is this beautiful Disneyland decal. This is Disneyland the original with beautiful foil coloring on it. And it's still on its original card. It's never been taken off. And uh, that's coming your way to celebrate uh, your Disneyland collection. So that's coming your way. And then this is the one I'm most excited about. This is the passport book from Epcot Center 
as part of Walt Disney World. And if you're not familiar with what Epcot Center represents, you basically go into Epcot and you explore the world through the different areas of the park. Each park or each part of the park is designated as a different country. So we have Norway, Spain, France, etc., etc. So this is that passport book that you could buy to go around and collect stamps to put in your passport. It's got the classic Walt Disney World logo down here. It's got the, the gold lettering over top of the blue passport. When you open it up, it kind of gives you some instructions here. Visit each of the 11 World Showcase countries and then the countries visited you could show are on here. When you open this sucker up, you can see that this person collected the stamps, both the paper stamps and the ink stamps from each country that they visited. And uh, we got France, we got Morocco, we got Japan. If we can move through a few more, we got China, we got Norway, and it's just pages and pages filled with these stamps from Epcot Center. And uh, it's beautiful, Canada. And each one has been fully filled and stamped from every location of the park. So Seth, that vintage Epcot Center passport is heading your way. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our treasure hunt from today. Really, really enjoy going to Antiques Iowa up in Story City. If you're from the Iowa area, I highly recommend it. They have great stuff, age ranges. You'll be able to find something, I'm sure, from your childhood or your kid's childhood, you know, or whatever it might be. Cannot stress enough how great of a location that is with great prices, great staff, and so I'm trying something new with this treasure hunting video. Uh, so let me know in the comment section if you like this kind of video and I will plan to do more of them. Also down below, let me know your favorite thing that we found today. And also if you're watching through the video and you saw me sifting through things and you saw something that I didn't react to, that you're like, oh my gosh, that was a huge part of my childhood. Let me know down below so that I can keep my eyes open for these really cool novelty items as well. But until next time, thank you for tuning in to another It's All Knee video. And as always, it is all knee and no foot. And we will see you in the next one. Show me that smile. Ooh, show me that smile. Don't waste another.